Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt of Daytona Career Mode series. In today's episode, I'm going to introduce you to our new sponsor. I'm going to show off the new paint scheme, and we're going to go run Daytona. With the new upgrades we got on the truck last episode, I really think we might have a good year this year. So, let me go ahead, pull up that uh, last sponsor letter I got, and show you guys what we got in store for this year. So we got a letter from John Q. Racecore. He said, What a great season last year. We think you'd be the perfect driver for our new truck series program. Nissan has come on board to bring the Titan to the truck series. Just win two races this year and we'll be with you for the long haul. Let us know what you think. Sincerely, Mr. Racecore. So obviously, there's got to be a pretty cool paint scheme to go with this, right? Let me show you. And there you see it. Got the race course stuff paint scheme with the number 22 for this season. So stoked. I was able to work with the creator of the graphics mod for this game and I got him to make this paint scheme for me. So I'm really excited to uh, see how it looks on the track. So now that you've seen our new paint scheme, let's go see it in action at Daytona International Speedway. Man, that looks so cool. He was even cool enough to uh, do the Titan headlights and grill and taillights for me. So really stoked on this paint scheme. I also made a team shirt. Let me go ahead and uh, stand up and show that off. So it's got the number 22 as well as the logo and my friend Jesse from Spiker Motorsports. We've got his logo on there as well. I thought it was a really cool design so I ordered a sample for myself. Let me know if you guys like the t-shirt. I'm probably going to scale down the uh, race course stuff logo just a little bit so it looks a little better. But let me know if it's something you guys would be interested in and I just might get them made. But hey. Enough chit chat. You guys are here to see cars turn left. All right, so I think with this view, I don't have a pit board in my eyes. So yeah, he even did the, uh, the Titan logo on the tailgate and we got the Nissan logo as well as the Nissan taillights on it. So I am super stoked. Um, I'll link his website down below. So if you happen to play this game and you want his mod and or you want to have him do paint schemes, he doesn't just do them for this game, he does them for pretty much everything. So I'll leave him, uh, I'll leave his link down below so you guys can get in contact. Big thanks for making this paint scheme for me. So on the bright side, the truck does feel pretty stable. The gearing could probably change a little bit just to give us uh, a little more top speed. All right, so we have improved our lap time pretty dramatically. Obviously, we have done a suspension upgrade as well as a motor upgrade since the last time we came to Daytona. So, love to see that. All right, so we got even faster. I'm gonna go ahead, make a few changes, and then hop right back into practice. All right, I've made the first round of changes. As usual, I go pretty aggressive with a lot of them and then kind of decide if I need to dial them back or not. I did put quite a bit of grill tape on the truck, so I'm interested to see how... Uh... Oh, my buddy! I thought he was just gonna go high around me. Peace. We've had quite a few problems with Bill Wester in practice. 
everything I've heard, he's a real nice guy in real life, but man, in this game, we are not buds. And this was one thing I definitely wanted to do was get some drafting practice in so I could see if the gear is too short or if I needed to make it longer, um, as well as how the oil tent looks while I'm following someone. So it's up to 212. Still there. Letting off a little bit to try and get him back ahead of me. There we go. Still there. Oh, how's it feel, Bill, to get run over in practice? Big fan? You want another? Still there. So I think gearing wise, we're pretty solid. Um, Still there. I'm happy with uh, with where the RPMs are at for the speed we're running. And oil temp seems to have stabilized around 218, even with no real airflow to the radiator since we're stuck to the 8 truck, but... Still there. I do believe we've got a pretty solid setup. Still there. So, I think, I think it's time to go ahead and qualify. Let's go ahead and see what we can do single car. Get a nice burnout off the line. It was definitely on purpose and not because I forgot to put it in gear. That'd be silly. Also, I hope you guys like my hat. I found this on eBay. It's a Craftsman Truck Series hat from the 1995 season. Hopefully you can uh, see the design on the hat a little better. Yeah, I thought it was a cool hat and it was cheap. So that was nice. I did wash it, so like, I I don't feel weird about wearing a used hat if I wash it. <laughs> Flip the apron a bit there, so that's gonna slow our lap down just a smidge this is the one that counts all right 49.9 i don't think that's a bad lap time all right we got through one and two pretty solid the apron again. I don't think I really lost much speed, but it's just a longer distance around the track the higher you end up going. So. Alright, let's see where we play. Alright, so we ran a 49.93. Let's go ahead and see where that puts us on the leaderboard. Also, that paint scheme just looks so sick. All right, so we are fast. That is awesome. Of course, we're starting on the outside again because why would we ever get to start on the inside? I don't really think there's any changes I need to make, so uh, let's uh, let the soothing voice of Alan Beswick serenade us about the Daytona International Speedway. 
Welcome to the Sunshine State and the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida. Since 1959, a driver's career can be made or broken at Daytona International Speedway. The two and a half mile trioval has served as a proving ground for some of the greatest names in racing. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must-have skill in order to stay with the pack and master Daytona. All right, so I believe I saw green, earlier that flag. the Carlo. fuel window should be about nine laps. Carlo. Bro! Clear high. Clear. Are you kidding me? There's a spin in turn one. The yellow's out. Okay, we did get a yellow, and Rick got destroyed, which is exactly what he deserved for that. A jerk. We didn't even make it halfway down the front stretch halfway into the first turn before I got turned. <sighs> what a great start to the season. Just peachy. On the bright side, we didn't damage the truck. Since we're in last anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and pit. Guys, I'm going to show you the Brilliant driving from the 24. Get set. The race is going green. Ah, uh, yes. It's me on the bottom. Let me just drift up into the top lane. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, geez. I caused a crash. Let me drive right back into the middle of the field. Not cool. Yeah, Rick. Get bent. So upsetting. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So only a couple other trucks decided to pit. Ten laps to go. But guys, with damage, we're not part of that <laughs> for some reason. So. All right. But I know the bucket heads are going to get me out quick. Let's go, boys. So, yeah, there's quite a few damaged trucks back in the pack, but none of them decided to pit, I guess. And of course, I've got the tough break because I dropped 32 positions in a lap. On the bright side, I believe we get nine laps of fuel when we pit. And there's only 10 to go. So we might be able to make it, but my guess is only three guys pit because the AI doesn't think they can make it, but we're going to find out. You remember from last year, fuel mileage wins are our thing. Alrighty. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So we have eight laps of fuel, nine laps of race. Probably going to drop down to seven laps of fuel at some point on this lap. Stay low. Oh, wow. Still there. All clear. This pack has already lost the guys up front. All clear. Yeah, thankfully with no nose damage. Buddy. All clear. Car high. All right, yeah, we're four wide on the back stretch. That there. sounds All like clear. a plan to me. Alright, so we haven't hit seven laps yet. There Still we go. There. Clear high. So we are just about one lap short on fuel. 
That was a great lap. So, of course, you know, I'm not going to pit. We're going to run this baby dry. Car yeah, high. Rick, go get him. Wreck somebody else for me. Still there. Still there. Clear low. Car high. Still there. Clear high. All right, we saved about a hundred feet of fuel that lap. That was a great lap. Still there. Clear high. Clear high. I don't care who wins this race as long as it's not Rick, because he's the reason I'm back here. He's the reason for all the turmoil. Still there. You're all clear. Car high. Clear high. Don't chop me. Don't chop me. Thank you, sir. Stay low. Still there. You're all clear. Alright, we didn't save any fuel that lap. That was your best lap ever. Clear low. Because all these guys in front have to pit. There's no way any of them are making it. The four car is headed into the pit. The car head is pitting. Oh boy. All right, so five laps to go. Also, I'm sure you guys have noticed. I definitely notice when I go back and watch these recordings. I say, "All right." about 4,000 times an episode. Don't know why. So Presley is ahead by 4.2 and Norik and everyone else are behind by 20 seconds or more. My assumption is they all pit that lap. All right, Presley has come in for his stop as well. So we will lead this lap. Four laps to go, three laps of fuel. That is what we call a hot merge. Give me some draft. Okay, we got a little bit. I have to stop. Flipping the apron. Alright, so as it sits right now, we are going to run out of fuel before the f white flag. And or we'll have zero laps of fuel. So... Not necessarily that we'll be completely out, but at this point I'm just trying to pull all the draft I can and stay off of the throttle. I said it again. We are a lap short on fuel. You're low on fuel. Let's see what. Oh, yeah, we're still 23 seconds ahead.
I think at this point, just really crawl. Depending on when we start sputtering, we might be okay. It just sucks you can't just stick the truck in neutral, like once you run out. Come on, Brendan, push me. Push me. You're low on fuel. All right, we are now sputtering. Come on. Come on. Come on. Great job. Let's go. All right, we had the fastest lap. We led the most laps. Oh man. We just <laughs> just had enough speed to cross the line. Ten seconds is all we got him by, but man, that's awesome. So stoked. So we have started off the season about as well as we could. Max points day. So we are the points leader. With our win at Daytona, we have brought in $88,000. I am excited to see if we can get that exhaust upgrade yet and then have the truck as good as it's gonna get. Opening day at Daytona. I mastered the track. It's so cool how they put the paint scheme in Winter Circle like that. It's so rad. We qualified fourth, finished first. Had a bit of a hiccup on the first lap, but we turned it around. It worked out. And there's the season standings. Obviously, Max Points Day, first race of the year. We're going to start out on top. Let's see if we can keep it there. It's taken us three seasons in both of the other leagues to win a championship and move up. My assumption for the truck series was three year plan, but hey, maybe we can uh, knock it out in two. Who knows? The best exhaust option is 265,000. We're obviously a little short of that, but if we can have another good race or two next episode, I think we can definitely grab that. And with that, we are going to conclude today's episode. I just want to say a big thanks to everybody that's watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, I'm really glad you guys enjoy these videos. I'm enjoying making them, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Also, I'm just now realizing my headphones have, like, fallen off my head, so... I probably looked really goofy for this whole episode. See ya.